half OTD, half it for the day. You know, you ladies, you like gifts, you know, when you're upset. They say, I'd rather uh, cry in Dubai than. Good morning, happy Saturday. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. How is the Saturday going? Mine is okay, you know. It's not really an extremely happy one, it's not a sad one either. It's just balanced, like it's okay. So, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you know what to do. Kindly please click the subscribe button, turn on your post notification, and every time there's a new video, you will be notified. So I'm still in my towel. So I'm about to dress up and um, go run some errands in town. And then of course today I'll be going for a shoot. I want to go and shoot somewhere for you guys. Of course, it's a vlog. And um, I'm gonna be shooting somewhere in Windhoek, but you know, a place, a place that you've never, um, you've probably seen it. But yeah, that's where I'll be going. So let me get dressed, and I'll show you my outfit for today. Hello, darlings. I'm all dressed. So today I'm putting on a short wig. As you can see, how do I look? I've been putting on in a while. It was a struggle to straighten it because it was all messed up. Uh, OTD outfit for the day. How do you like it? Hello my darlings, so I'm now on my way, I'm on my way to the shops to get a few groceries and stuff and also uh, put fuel in my car, you know, oh my gosh, petrol prices have gone up, everything is going up, life is becoming too expensive, you know, um, at least in my country right now. So yeah, I'm gonna get fuel and then after getting fuel, I'm gonna um actually go to the shops and get a few stuff for my kids like you know milk and stuff they eat a lot of cereals and you have to replace the milk all the time and stuff so after that then i'm going to take you to the place that i told you about you know it's in windhoek but i, I find it really interesting that's why i want to go there so yeah i will be going there um this afternoon otherwise i will see you later Tell me something. I heard that in some countries, by the way, when I say petrol, I mean gas because some people say gas, all right? So we call it petrol here, gasolina. So um, tell me something. Um, in some countries, you put petrol yourself or gas yourself like you put it yourself you go to, to a service station or a gas station you just pump it in yourself in my countries you don't pump it in yourself if you want to do it yourself it's okay you can do it yourself but there are people that are actually employed to do that which I believe is a good thing because you know they are creating employment then if people had to do it themselves um, it would be a challenge to some of us I don't like petrol I don't even want to touch that thing like honestly it would have been a challenge to some of us to put petrol on our own and then or gas on our own and then of course um you know <laughs> of course some some people might uh, put it to waste and all that if you don't know how to pump it in properly so i believe that it's, it's a great thing because it's also creating employment for people that do not have jobs at least they have got a job you know filling petrol or filling gas into cars and stuff so yeah how is it in your country put it in the comment section down below um do you put gas on your own you know do you think it's a great idea or do you think like um do you feel like 
they should be people you know doing that for you or doing that service for you so yeah i'm done here i'm heading to the shop now this is how saturday morning looks like in windhoek but if you come back here at two o'clock you basically not find anybody here town will be very 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 clean but yeah this is how it looks like mostly on saturdays because shops closes like early they close at some close at three some close at um four and then others at one so people don't really um do their shoppings in the afternoons they come so early to do their shopping and then of course saturday is also a day for them to rest so they gotta go back man they gotta go back and rest so the parkings are full you see what i was telling you i think it's also because it's the 25th and you know um yesterday was payday for some people here in namibia the paydays are usually on the 30th 25th 20th and 15th 15th is not really a lot of people it's just university staff that got, get paid on the 15th i don't know any other staff i'm out here struggling to get parking it's a little bit dark let me see where these guys are going. Maybe they are moving out and I can perhaps get parking. So this couple is really taking long. I want them to drive out so I can go before somebody else jumps in. Oh, hopefully nobody goes there. God, this guy. Uh -uh. <laughs> you go finally go parking. The other lady was really kind. Like she came, she saw that somebody was leaving. But then she saw me because my hazards were on and she saw that I was waiting. She asked me if I was waiting for him to leave so I can come. That was so kind of her because some people would have just, you know, taken the 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 spot like thank God. So let me go and get my groceries, guys. I'll catch up with you later. Apples. So my darlings, this is what I could get with 500 Namibian dollar. In fact, it was 503 dollars if I'm not mistaken. Plus, of course, along the way I'll be picking up some eggs as well, which is gonna cost me either 65 Namibian dollars or 70 Namibian dollars. So altogether, my groceries would be about 573 Namibian dollars. Hello, my darlings. I removed the sunglasses how do i look so i just got out of the shop i got the groceries i needed so now we're heading home so something actually happened in the shop that i'd like to share with you so while i was standing in the queue while i was standing in the queue to go pay for my groceries um this guy was buying chocolates you know what's the name of the chocolates you know this chocolates ferrari ferro rocher ferro rocher is it ferro rocher <laughs> yes these chocolates that lovers give to each other and stuff so this guy was buying just that that's the only item he had um he had so he that was the only item he was buying so since i was next he came to me and said can he just pay like can i just assist him so he can just pay for that chocolate and i said oh no nah, it's not a problem you know since i'm not really in a rush as i like, go ahead please yeah so he was like oh thank you thank you very much so then he started telling me the story <laughs> of where he's taking the the chocolate apparently you know you know you ladies you like gifts you know when you're upset you give them gifts so that they can forgive you and stuff you know to apologize and stuff and stuff and stuff so he was talking in that line of which i picked up that he was buying it for the girlfriend uh because he has probably done something and was going to apologize and stuff i'm like oh that's that's good that's interesting and i was like but do you know that they say um the best apology is actually changed behavior so yeah a gift would be okay but the best apology would be you know changed behavior and i was like yeah, yeah yeah no i know it's because you're also a lady you just want to um you know side with your your you know your mate like 
your lady mate and stuff. I was like, no, that's not the case. And they was like, yeah, the thing is that, in fact, I didn't really do anything. I just went out of town. So I came back. I was like, yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. But I feel like he was just changing the, the story because I said, you know, the best um, apology is change. So I wanted to speak about this, guys. I always say when it comes to, it's not just relationships. Uh, it's not just romantic relationships, but this also applies to any kind of relationship, friendship and uh, um, family you know i always tell people you have not apologized if you're still going back you know to do the same thing so to me when somebody apologizes to me they need to change they need to change and then they don't need to do that thing again and again and again if you apologize today and then you still go back and do that same thing it means that you have not apologized it means that you're not sorry for your behavior it means that you're not sorry so i always tell people gifts won't do anything yes the gift will make me happy today the flowers will make me happy today but you're still going back you know doing the same thing so if you're gonna go back and do the same thing then you've done nothing at all hey you've done nothing at all what was the apology for uh sorry um there are some roadworks here and it's really um yeah it's really tough okay finally so what have you apologized for i don't know ladies put it in the comment section down below if your man apologizes to you with flowers and showers you with gifts let's say um he probably i'm not trying to promote uh, abuse here please do not do that do not do that um so let's say that your man abuses you he abuses you he goes and buys you flowers he goes and takes you to um to buy he goes and takes you to wherever as as a form of apologizing and then they still go back and and do the same thing over and over again every time they do it they they give you gifts and all that honey run for your life run 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 for your life because this monster is gonna it's gonna end your life one day you know he's gonna end your life one day so it's very important to note that whenever we are apologizing if we are really saying that we are sorry we should try and change and not do the same thing over and over again because it signifies that we are not sorry for our bad behavior guys or what do you think put it in the comment section down below baby you know there's this saying that girls usually say i'd rather uh, cry in dubai than you know in uh, wherever i don't know somebody that's gonna hurt you and you, you are still in your hometown or at your village but to me there's no difference if somebody is gonna hurt you then you shouldn't be with them whether they take you on a trip whether they give you flowers whether they do whatsoever it does not matter for me nothing is better crying in dubai or crying in 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 the village it's one and the same thing the best thing to do is not to cry at all what i mean by not to cry i'm not saying that you wouldn't cry and stuff but i mean that if that person is really abusing you then you shouldn't be in that relationship my sister my darling you should not be that same goes to to, to men i mean men are basically um the most i shouldn't say complicated but you know the way they are raised there are men that are really going through abusive relationships but maybe that should be another um the topic of another day because they are also being abused be it financial abuse i believe mostly with men it's financial abuse you know ladies we need to step up we need to step up don't hurt your man by abusing him financially. See how you can try and, and, and come in and, and help out and stuff. Okay, guys. So, yeah. So, that, that incident in the shop just made me remember that. I'm now driving back home, guys. I'm going to show you. I want to pass by this a lady here that sells outside just to buy some eggs. That's where I buy my eggs, you know, by the roadside. So my darlings, there are people who sit by the roadside and sell stuff and this is where I usually buy my eggs. It usually 
right cost here. 65 to 17 million dollars so for 26 eggs. eggs so let us support our eggs. women and men yes. that sell so along the streets a few minutes later so guys i just got home from shopping i'm gonna change into something different it's really hot so so that i can go to the place that i was talking about you know so yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here the next vlog will be you know about this place where i'm taking you to so ta-ta if this is your first time here kindly please subscribe turn on your post notification and to be notified every time there is a new video from your favorite youtuber your sweetheart i'll see you again in my next video my darlings i love you so much thank you for the support